Okay, this is Beyond Education. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, hello, dear students. And I. It makes that keeps that attraction for conversation, and they're less likely to go on. If you go ahead and make that attraction, you're speaking with them, and that it pulls them together. What I'm telling you now is going to be so valuable for you when you're flying to America to the person next to you, uh, the person on the other side. Uh, and uh, when you arrive in a volunteer in the school here, uh, so everything we keep encouraging them to continue to help us get eye contact. And when you see maybe the person may be getting a little impatient or you need to go, you close the conversation very nicely. How do we close the conversation? Nice talking with you, Charlie. Bonus. Nice talking with you, Charlie. Nice talking with you, Susie. Nice talking with you, Susie. Nice talking with you, Ruth. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a wonderful feeling. I can to help you understand the things that you're having trouble with. So, learn your professor's names, learn their office hours, learn where their office is, and take advantage of them and ask them to come. All right, Eva, wow. Because there might be things in there that they'll never talk about in class. And then use that syllabus to help you stay organized and to know what you need to do by when. Yes, wow. <laughs> and so, yeah, so pay attention to what you've been given uh, um, in each class, and then make note of that in a general thing for your schedule, for your calendar, so that you don't get behind in things, so you stay up to date with things. That's a very good one for being a successful student. Good one, Ruth. Please come, Theo, tell us what else can we do to be a successful student? To be a successful student, you need to know where to be a lot easier. But if you put all your effort into the easy classes, then your hard classes, um, you'll fail. So you need to know which classes to put more time in and what classes to put less time in. So pay attention in your first week and um, when you first start a class, think, okay, is this a class that you put more time in or less time in? And knowing where to put your effort will help you very, very much. <laughs> yes, very. Uh, I would say time management is a big uh, successful student. Uh, and knowing, like, I can't hang out with friends right now because I have to do homework. While it's hard in the time, like, once you're done with the classes, it, it gets easier. Very good progress. That's a good schedule. That's so important. Yes, these guys are giving us good tips to be successful students in the United States. I've got number one important thing that I've uh, observed from students and others, and, and that is I want to share with you because it's spiritual. Everyone listening? So again, to be the best student, the best person, the best friend, to be the healthiest in everything that we can do is to, number one, have our spiritual life. That is that, remember, we have a creator, God who made us. And so getting our relationship with him, asking him to guide us, to keep us healthy and strong, protect us from evil and harm, help us to make the wise decisions. Help us to stay healthy. Help us to be able to help others. Help us to be able to understand the things in the classes. Help us to be able to use our time in the best way. Just a simple prayer to God to thank Him for all the blessings and asking for help with the things that we need. Again, our connection with our Creator, God who loves us and made us. All right? That thing will be number one. Hey, question sign, Nicholas. You are standing, huh? Any questions? Come on. Okay, I've got, I, I've got a question for you. What's the number one problem you think that students face while they're doing their studies in the United States? Theo? I think distractions. Mm -hmm. um, distractions like your cell phone is a big distraction. Distractions like um, maybe you want to study, but there's uh, something else happening and you'd rather do that. So I think distractions from your studies 
is uh, the number one problem. Carter, what would you say? Number one problem. Procrastination. Procrastination. Pushing it off. Yeah. You know what procrastination is? Making excuses. I can do that tomorrow. And then tomorrow, what? Never comes, right? You say tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. Okay? That's an important one. So, uh, so let's uh, um, remember procrastination. Do things quickly and, uh, and get them done. Yeah. Okay? Good. Eva? Um, mine is very similar, but yeah. I would say consistency. I know a lot of students that will say, well, I'll study for the final exam at the end of the class, and I'll put all my effort in there, but I won't study for the other tests. Well, then what happens is your grade is really bad because you didn't study for any of those other tests, and then you can't pass the final. So just study for every test and don't wait till night. Don't procrastinate. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Good. Ruth? Um, at a lot of schools and a, listen, lot, listen. And a lot of colleges, um, class attendance is not required. But if you want to be a successful student, you have to go to class. And you have to go to every class. And you have to pay attention. So I think that's a really big barrier for a lot of students is that if they don't have to be there, they're not going to. But if you want to be successful, then you need to go to class. Yeah. That reminds me that when you're very good. <laughs> Uh, I remember that I had to, right between it, uh, I had a high B in all my other classes that semester uh, were A's, and, and I was trying to get straight A's that semester, you know? So I went to my history professor and I said, sir, look, I've got a very high B, and, uh, and is there any way that that can become an A? You know, I've given a lot, you can see my, my grades have continually improved on it. Okay, so so that is that anyone related to you or just a friend? 